Yes, it's something I didn't know about at all until it was kind of discovered by his defense team and then they began to question our mother about it. The MK Ultra program was actually a CIA covert operation within the United States where unwitting um, suspects um, were made guinea pigs in research um, about psychotropic drugs, um, various kinds of uh, psychological pressure. I think there's pretty clear evidence that MK Ultra was a program at Harvard. Um, Ted was in a psychological research study um, run by a psychologist by the name of Henry Murray. Murray conducted abusive experiments at Harvard under the supervision of Sidney Gottlieb, MK Ultra director. It was a fairly abusive research project. Um, it would certainly not pass ethical muster today. And Ted would meet once a week for a conversation with someone about philosophy with someone he thought he was led to believe was another subject within the research project, but actually it was a plant. It was a graduate student, and they were actually trying to study how alienated youth, and Ted was identified as an alienated youth at Harvard. Harvard's entry profile for young Kaczynski. Good impression created, attractive, mature for age, talks easily, fluently, and pleasantly, makes friends carefully. And they were actually trying to study how alienated youth, and Ted was identified as an alienated youth at Harvard, would um, respond to um, having their philosophy of life and their values challenged. The Murray Gottlieb MKUltra Objective. Behavior modification by covert means through drugs, hypnosis, and torture. So for three years, uh, beginning at the age of 17, Ted was in this study. I've read some of the transcripts, and they were pretty awful. I mean, they included personal attacks. So as my brother's trying to make a, um, you know, a, some kind of philosophical point, his uh, his adversary in this debate is is uh, making disparaging comments about his appearance, about his maturity. Um, so you know, an interesting possible connection is that Murray had actually been in the OS, um, OS, is it? OSS, OSS, that's right, which was the forerunner of the CIA during World War II, and the projects he did had to do with debrief, debriefing prisoners of war. Paperclip Project, debriefing top Nazi scientists and engineers brought secretly to the United States to work in aerospace weapons, biowarfare, mind control research, and experimentation in the military, academic, and corporate worlds. So we wonder if, you know, maybe he used some of the same tactics in, in sort of probing and poking um, young, unwitting college students and uh, don't know if, if the CIA was directly involved, but it's certainly not without outside the bounds of possibility. I don't think that necessarily 
created Ted's mental illness. Um, it might have been a triggering factor. It might have sort of given shape to his belief that there was, you know, conspiracies against him and that, um, you know, there was something sinister about the technology of psychology and mind manipulation and so forth. I think I really began to get alarmed in the um, 1980s when some of Ted's letters to our parents seemed so bizarre. I mean, he'd say that they never loved him and cite evidence and seem to ignore all of the nice and loving things they'd done all their lives long. And um, I realized at that point that he was looking at the world through a very, very different lens. Looking back, um, actually having read some of Ted's diaries while he was in college, I think he probably was having psychotic breaks as early as his uh, early 20s. Um, he believed, for instance, that he'd been visited by people in his uh, apartment at the University of Michigan who, who couldn't possibly have been there to visit him. Did you ever talk to him about that uh, experience in that psychology program? No, you know, Mom had remembered it because uh, since Ted was only 17 when he went into this research project, uh, parental consent was needed. And Mom remembered getting a form from, um, you know, Harvard College asking for her permission for Ted to be in the study. And, you know, Mom said, well, gee, I thought, you know, Ted's, you know, he's, he's socially awkward. He doesn't fit in very well. Maybe being exposed to psychologists could be very helpful to him. Well, little did she know that uh, you know this study wasn't con conducted with his benefit in mind. The defense apparently put a lot of research into this. It was going to be um, at least one of their arguments for mitigation that Ted had been seriously abused in this in this uh, research program that might even have been funded by the federal government. It was hard to get research, hard to make the connection fully. They found that numbers of the records had actually been destroyed. Um, not for, you know, like confidentiality reasons or something. It was destroyed because there was a congressional investigation of the MK Ultra program. And the uh, then director of the CIA uh, really, uh, in contempt of Congress, destroyed many of the records of that program. MKUltra records were destroyed in 1973 by Henry Kissinger subordinate Richard Helms, CIA director, in overt defiance of the United States Senate. They did eventually get to look at some of Murray's um, you know, private research papers. Um, that was where some of the, these transcripts were found. Um, they also um, were able to track down just a couple of the other participants in the study. One of which, by the way, was working at Los Alamos making, making big bombs. <laughs> um, a, a weird irony of the whole thing. But um, as far as we know, uh, as far as we know, and we don't know much, Ted was the only one who's, you know, who, uh, you know, ended up with real serious problems. In a sense, he wasn't paranoid. He was, um, you yeah, know, he was in a sense conspired against.
because of his academic brilliance and his extraordinary success, you know, and the absence of any kind of obvious, you know, any violence in him, uh, you know, I, I think our family thought he was different, but not necessarily in a bad way. Thank you.